guys. So right now we are at the Mount Rajabong Cookies Heritage House. So let's take a look inside. So here is like a, the Thai House Museum. But basically for this house used to be um, the house of the Mom Rajawong Pukit Pamod before. But after he passed away, um, the family and the foundation renovated this house to be and keep everything like a museum. Here we see the, the topical uh, Thai house, the, the central Thai house. So now we are at the courtyard. So in, behind me, that one is like a hole. Basically for the, the Thai House Museum, we cannot decorate the hole like that because that one does uh, only, the, only the king and royal family or the upper class of Thai only that can decorate the hole like that. The hole like that, um, that, that hole the, is used to be the, the theater or like uh, the special event such as like uh, the royal family camps the signature of the, 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 the hall, the special hall, you can see the, the triangle, the decoration like that. This not for the normal house. Because for the Mom Rachawong, Kukrit Pamot is like a, the Mom Rachawong is like a, the, the, lit, the position of the Thai royal family. He used to be the, the great grandchild of the King Rama II. So he's uh, very, very close with the royal family now. He used to be the teacher of the, the Royal Highness Princess Sitting Thorn also about the Thai dancing and the, the Thai musician. So one of the big projects <coughs> that he did after he got graduated from the, the Oxford University, he used to work many, many jobs, variety of jobs in Thailand He's like a multi-purpose person for our country. He used to be teacher, banker, um, uh, writer. He wrote so many books, more than 14 books, uh, 40 books. And at the end, he's like a father of the, the, Thai, uh, the Thai party. The, the, he used to be the politician. And at the end, the top of the position, he is like the 13th Prime Minister of Thailand during the 1675 until 19 until 1976. Not too much long term, just nine months. And for this is the, the book cabinet in the Thai style. Basically this one he took from the, the temple that normally for Thai people if we come on this side we will see like a, a detail This one is made from the, the it's not the painting huh? we use the gold leaf first they paint the lacquer and after that they um, stick the, the gold leaf that made from the real gold The Thai and Thai Chinese, we will see the amota like this for pray or for offering because for his great mother, she is Chinese. And actually, for this house located on the Suan Pru district, in the former, this area is like a, the high class or like a, the upper class area that not too much people stay around here. But nowadays, if you see, you see so many high-rise building because this area close to the the business center or Saton area. For the Thai house, we're gonna rise up or lift it up, maybe one or uh, two or three meter. The reason that we have to lift it up because in the former we always build the house or set up the house nearby the canal or nearby the river, and basically for the central parts of Thailand that they're gonna have a lot of, of, of the water after the rainy season or flooding. It's normal, it's very, very common for, for, the, for, the, for the Thai house.
And uh, the signature of the of the Thai house or the Thai tropical Thai house like this, they is like they use the the wooden joint. You will see. There's no no need to use the new. That means they can remove and rebuild it again. It's like a knockdown house. Then some year or some part that they not not what you hear. Some parts of the some parts of the the, the, the province that not not good for for agricultural or not not good for do something. They can change or they can move by boat. It's like a jigsaw house. Normally for the layouts of the Thai house, we're gonna face to the river because in the farmer we use the, the river or the canal to be like a, the way for communication. But nowadays we use the street or we use the main road that you will see the house face to the main road that way. And basically for go up to the Thai house, we have to take out the shoe, but after he you um, take this spread to be the, the museum, we can go. For this museum, they have many kinds of the house, of the tea house. Basically, we have two styles. The first one, like this, the, the Ratana Kosin Thai house, or the, the, the Bangkok period house. If you see the house, or the room is more bigger than the, than, than the UTR style. If you compare with the side, you couldn't see my face. We call the Ayutthaya style Thai house. We always sit down on the floor. So when you sit down on the floor like this, it's normal. Because for Thai people, we do everything on the floor. Eating, sleeping, or a little chat, or like a visiting room or the, the, the living room. We do every, every action on the floor. And this, and this house, this room, is a living, uh, not room, the bedrooms of him. The Thai house museum, on the Thai house, we have no like uh, the room that separate the house, but we use the partition like this to separate the function. And for the one more signature of the Thai house, the rooftop is gonna very, very sharp and tall because we're gonna use the shape like this to drain all of the, all of the rain. Because mostly of the Mersum country, all of the rooftop will sharpen to dry all of the okay. rain. So here is like a spirit house. As the such as like a many many kinds of Thai house nowadays that you will see like a small shrine or small tiny house. That's the house for the spirit. This one we have also. You will see the the sculpture of the spirit. Because for Thai people, we believe that this one does come from the, the Hindi culture. We believe that any and any houses or any land, they have like a, their own spirit. So when you build a house or when you do something on the land, with the land, you need to let them know or maybe build small house or small shrine for them. And then you treat them like offering or pray and let them happy. Normally for this museum, they allow the people come for use the to, to rent the, the area for the banquet, such as like a Thai wedding or some like a party. So from here you will see like a, the tropical Thai house down there. And up there <coughs> you will see the high rise building. So it's like a big combination between the tropical Thai culture and modern style of the Thai people nowadays. So if you have enough time in the city, in the main city, like a business center, because here it's like close to the business center. So could you spend the time for the Thai house museum? Basically, I'm sure that you never know that we have like a Thai house museum like this. 
สวัสดีครับ